How's it going guys? Double wide six and today I'm working on my wife's car. This thing's a 06 Ford Fusion. Problem is the transmission keeps like clonking and we got a wrench coming on and the uh, little transmission symbol. So we're going to pull a code on this thing. And that little amber transmission, that's, that's the thing that's lighting up with a little wrench that comes on. Alright, so anyhow, we're just going to scan this thing and we'll see what we get. Scanners are nice, they can save you a few bucks. Because this car is like, uh, this is my wife's car and uh, it's due for inspection. So we'll read the codes here and we'll see what it says here. Alright, so it's saying the vehicle has no fault codes. And the reason it's saying that is because I cleared out the memory. So, uh, I have it written down. Let me uh, find the code. So, P0715, it's the input turbine speed sensor. And it's on the uh, top of the transmission. So, we're looking at this engine... This is, I think it's actually a Mazda engine in this Fusion. And if you get next to the battery here where that light is and you look down, you can see the top of the transmission down in there. Right there, that aluminum. And this sensor, you can just see the, the plug. I have the light on it. Right there, that gray plug. That's what we need to get out. So we'll unclip the plug and there's uh, one bolt there. I believe it's 10 millimeter. First step here is to hit this little tab on the clip and try and pull that connection back. Well, I unplugged the connector here and now I have a pretty long ratchet extension. It is a 10 millimeter. There we go. Got it loosened up, so that one didn't get too tight. But oh. there it is. Here's a look at the sensor. You can see the ends look good. They're not corroded. And uh, this is the Motorcraft part. Um, you know, as far as sensors in cars, I always try and put in the OEM parts. Um, I just think that they, they work better and hold up longer. Um, I've tried some aftermarket parts, but uh, not, not all of them seem to work as well with, uh, you know, sensors. So I'll put a link to this down in the bottom of the video. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to fish the sensor back down into the top of the transmission. It's a pretty tight fit, but I'm doing my best to try and line it up. And there's a small O-ring on the sensor. I put a little bit of automatic transmission fluid on that. And once I get the sensor to seat, I need to tighten it down. little update on the sensor it's been working great it's been about two weeks so uh, having the scan tool and being able to replace the sensor really helped out so thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up take care